Hello guys, Frozen Neptunia here and welcome back to Final Fantasy 13 2. On the last episode we made it up to here in the... I'm still not pronouncing that Y word because I can't pronounce it. And we were shown a damaged video file which honestly looks a lot better than my content. So... We have to go find a gate so we can fix this paradox, because apparently we can't fix the paradox here. This is going to become a recurring theme. There are often going to be places where we can't fix the paradox in that level till we've done something else in a completely different timeline first. The Academy's troop but I can't remember if anyone around here actually gives side quests or not. Yep, he does. Got any? I'd be happy to buy them from you. What I really want to get my hands on is the battery used for one of the older models, like the kind they used on Cocoon. It wasn't a very popular model, so the parts are scarce. I saw it in a store window once. I got excited and ran in, but it turned out that the item had already been bought. A Murr's Sphere. So find, uh, in the whatever massif. 10 AF, excavation worker Cole enjoys collecting radio electronics, electronic gadgets, and there's a particular battery model from 10 years ago that he would love to get his hands on. Although it is no, it no longer exists in this time, such an item may have been sucked into a space-time vortex, so Mog would be the, just the Moogle to find it. Because it's not just lying around in a second-hand store. Hell, I can go into... I can go down to where the shops are, and I can find PS2s. In 2018. You can probably find a battery. But yeah, like everything, we've got to do everything for them because it's an RPG and side quests. But if you say you can get your hands on it, I'll believe you. Thanks for doing this. You want to know what I'll be using it for? I'm a collector. I want to get my hands on all the retro electronics I can. If you're a collector, just go on eBay. Or this time's equivalent of eBay. You'll probably find it for an extortionate amount of money. And just... Actually, hold on. I won't be able to get that... You know what. Just throw Mog over to get that one. Even though we're going up there anyway. Three remedies. Remedies, they, well, if you know anything about JRPGs, they heal any status ailment. And, and I just noticed the music's changed from coming over here. And yeah, the Mog Throw ability is so useful because you just throw Mog just to get items that you could quite easily go and get yourself, but if you're feeling a bit lazy, just throw the Moogle. It works if you don't end up throwing him off a cliff. And I'm actually surprised. Chocolina did not teleport anywhere in here. So there is a limit to that powering of teleportation she has. And, um, map is that one. Yeah, we've got to go down to there, which was an area previously locked off to us. But one thing I do love about solving this paradox is we're not actually going to be solving it in any version of this world. Yeah, the place is going to be completely different. Which, still on pulse, mind you, but... We have... Our gate. Use the hollow artifact to activate the gate and step into the flow of time. Eh, I may as well. There's nothing more to do until I do this. And I can't remember if there's a cutscene after this loading screen. Here, this yep, is there we go. Hope was talking about. Maybe. Uh. Yeah. 
What? There's something on your mind. Yeah, well, um... Sure, but it's just personal stuff. Noel seems troubled about something. He says it's personal stuff. How should I respond? Bothered by the Moogle? Is it about the Oracle Drive? Is it about the Cirrus? I won't ask then. I don't think he tells us anyway, so let's just go with I won't ask then. I won't ask then. <sighs> Sorry, Sarah. I'm not trying to hide anything, it's just that story about Yule. The Padre Cirrus. Back in the future, I knew a young girl with the same name. Is that right? Hmm. Something had been bothering Noel, and it had been ever since we heard the story about the Padre Cirrus Yule. But, of course, he wasn't the only one who was troubled. Was it really lightning I saw in the flickering images of the prophecy? The only way to find out is to go through this portal and solve the paradox. Live Trigger Award, a potion. Woo. But, our new location and the place that we are going to be fixing the paradox in the... That massif is in Elba. It's not pronounced Obra as I actually used to pronounce it before I fully completed Final Fantasy XIII. But it's actually pronounced Elba. Elba. That's how Vanille and Fang pronounce it. Elba, Grand Pulse, a land that bears the scars of ancient war, where flakes of crystal gather and shift like sand in the desert. The Academy has restricted access to this place because it is the homeland of the two heroines who turned to crystal and held Cocoon safe in the sky. It is a land that now, 200 years later, has been swallowed into a rift between time and space. Yeah, so that pretty much sums it up, so, yeah. But there's only one gate here. But aren't we meant to be meant- ugh, aren't we meant to be fixing a paradox? So why would we need a gate? And we have cutscene. And I think this is the furthest we're going into the future on- the main storyline at this point because that Brescia Ruins place where it's all snowy and it looks like everyone has um, caster sugar just dumped all over them. I actually never mentioned that but it's what I think that how everyone looks in there and we've got a cutscene I just know it. where everything has been destroyed? Or is it a distant past before the world has even come into being? Space-time has doubled and twisted on itself. The past and future are tangled together as one, Koopal. Paradox is affecting space-time itself. Right. And we have to find out what's causing this. <laughs> okay. Whoever it was that created the paradoxes, do they really want an empty, dead world? In a world abandoned by the foul sea, the ones who are left behind craved nothingness. An empty world. Where did you hear that? <laughs> it's just an old fairy tale. Anyway, enough of what they were saying. One thing that I really wish that they did is going back into the past of Erba. <laughs> Because I would have loved to have seen Erba when people actually lived there. Not all of this, like, 
crystal sand stuff, but like maybe even seeing like a younger um Yeah, we've got to use the mod clock for this because we have to find a special way into these. And you're gonna learn pretty quickly that we have more puzzles. And I'm not a fan of these puzzles. And we are sucked into a time for well, they weren't sucked in, it just kind of expanded. And they just stood there looking into it. Isn't that a trait on tree oh, isn't that a trope on TV tropes, the whole deer in the headlights? A crossroads within the paradox itself. In this space time, the past and future intersect. I bet if we solve all these puzzles, we could dissolve the current paradox. I, s I still don't see how solving puzzles is going to solve a paradox. And Temporal Rift Crystal Bonds. It's actually a pretty amazing bit of Crystal Beast support, which I personally need one more. But enough Yugo references, and yeah. With this anomaly, it's easier to show what you have to do than actually read it. It is... How do I connect things? Uh, come here. Oh, you have to hold it. What? Oh, that. 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 Yeah, it took me a bit of time to remember what to do. That to that. And then that to that. You are going... It took me a bit to actually remember how to actually connect them. But yeah, we only have to... I think we only have to do one puzzle. For this one. And then it goes up to like three. I really, I really miss loading screens where you can actually do stuff. Like, yeah, you can swirl the camera around, but it's not like, for example, DMC, where you can actually shoot and attack the actual um, loading thing with, like, just pressing triangle and square constantly. <laughs> and, yeah. Elba reveals itself. We solved a puzzle. Um, times Stardust. That doesn't make any sense. And we have new enemies here. We have yellow and red Nectons. And yeah, you want to kill the little buggers quickly. Because that Renaissance thing, I don't really remember, but I don't think that's... Oh, it only does Vigilance. Eh, never mind. I was getting worked up for nothing. But yeah. We have another aspect of Tameable Saboteurs. And also, if you catch an enemy just as it dies... Yeah, you they actually appear with no, with no health. That's actually a pretty fun thing. Well, it's not really a fun thing, but it's just a little thing I thought I'd point out. And yeah, these ones, they're not too much to worry about. They... Ooh, I think I got one. Nice. I still love these designs, though I do wish they maybe changed a little bit more than just colour, because I'm not a fan of recolor enemies. I really am not. It's in all honesty wasted potential. And I got, oh, one of each. A Cilion and a Chilleri... Chilleri... I can't... I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce that. Let's actually have a look at them, because I can't remember what this guy does. He has... Wow. D-Shell 2. Huh, this actually might be quite good. Let me see what things they need for the Crystarium. Because I might... Hold on. You... Okay, you come with bravery. 
I forgot that these things were actually good. And when it comes to support classes, like the Saboteur and the, like, not direct damage, I don't like to use my power and mana, mainly the potent stuff. And, yeah. Resist Curse. Hm. Do you know what? I'm just going to see if I can fully level him. Which I can't. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I thought I was one off then. I was going to get really mad. Let's just use a power and a vitality. Because that jump in health, actually. So, uh, do I change... Yes, I am going to change my Paradigm Pact. Uh, Tiffany, you're not doing it much anymore, girl. So, let's make room for a Saboteur and then... Customize. Yeah, that's kind of good, but I would want safe suburbian. Yeah, I can roll with this. I would like to put a um, a synergist on my team, but which it's actually better to have a commander. No. Ugh. A Synergist, a Saboteur, and a Sentinel. Seeing as Noel and Sarah can most always handle the... Uh, li -li 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 -li. Can always handle the uh, Ravager in uh, Commando roles. And I'm going to remove the Black Belt for that power wristband we just picked up. Because having Noel hitting harder is always good. It's never a bad thing. And if we go over here... Which is the way you'd think we would go. There isn't a space-time temporance here. There just isn't one. Whoa. Oh. I forgot you fought Seath here. As always. Oh. I remember these guys. These are from Final Fantasy XIII. The cho the. I always used to call these things Chon Chon. Which, oh, which is actually their name. I always thought their name was spelt differently. But, yeah, as all Seath enemies, they are unrecruitable, and, uh, and one of them is basically a walking arm. Yeah, nothing just but an arm. I would make a joke here, but I can't think of one. I honestly can't. <laughs> uh, that's... It's cut. Yeah, but they do actually drop some pretty good items. The Holy Water and I think that was a Painkiller? And one thing that I do like is that they didn't just reuse... Well, they did reuse the Urba map, but they gave us like this little bit outside. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Don't want to fight you. Thank you. Uh... I... Let's try this way. I know I'm gonna... I'm on to you, Chocolina. We've got this... Ah, we... Oh, we can't talk to it. Right. Uh, can I... Try and throw Mog over? Well, Moogles do bounce, so... Yeah... Mog got the item for us. That means we won't have to go behind there and Magician's Mark. It's a pretty good item. Wanna see what I got? It would have only been better if she said, What you buying, stranger? And yeah, our... Our money just isn't that good because you don't really get that much from fights. So I'm actually going to sell that. It... It's not that good. Wait, what the hell is a martyr badge? Oh, it's one of those items. Yeah, there are some items in this game that do have downsides. For example, de hit de bit de bit de bit debility. I'm not doing this on purpose. I generally aren't. There's a lot of words. Everyone comes to meet us. I don't... Get... I still don't believe you're a time traveler. I think you're just a cos... Damn. 
Oh, that's a... I'm not going to fight this. Run away. Um, just trying to remember item locations, because that's what I'm trying to look for. Oh, item. Vision's Gate Seal. I cannot remember what the gate seals do. For Pete's sake, I'm not interested in the Seath's hand fetish. I knew I could make a joke. It just took me a bit. But I think... Mog, isn't? No luck here. I don't see anything that looks like the entrance we need. Uh, but the, uh, I'm surprised you can see an entrance anyway, Noel. More of the hand fetish? No. Just the demonic corrupted butterflies. Go. Uh, okay. And yeah, we are fighting a ghast. This thing was a mini boss last time. <laughs> and like in the previous game, take out the chonchons first, always take out the small fry first, no matter what people pull. Oh right, I forgot Barry's weak to lightning. Sorry, I just got a notification on my iPad and I'm just got a bit distracted by it. Oh, Barry's dead. It doesn't matter, we can fight this as like, just Noel and Sarah. I think so. Hold on. Wait, there we go. Noel, just heal. Right, Curasa is an ability I got off screen. I think it heals you based on missing health. Because it seems to be more effective when you're at low health. And I think that's why Noel defaulted to using it and not just Cure. That was kind of an annoying fight, but never mind. Ooh, what's this thing? Oh, now you find something. Stupid Moogle. I should throw you into... Hold on. I don't care. Into the... The hell? I can't throw Mog into the void of space time. Why? Well, actually, no, if they went into. If Mog went into the whole space time, I don't think we'd be seeing it. What's Mog's gender? Because I don't think it's ever brought up. Sounds like a girl, but. The last time I thought something that sounded like a girl actually turned out to be a guy. It w can I? Can I? I can't throw Mog. But more puzzles, yay. And this time it's the Necton sort of shape. Connect that with that. Change, please. Change, please. Hold on. Can I connect these two? Duh. Change into... Thank you. Oh, now you're just being funny. Come on. Because... Wait, what the hell? Oh, I actually did end up connecting them. Because there's no proper tell when you're actually connecting them. Like, there's no, like, animation from Sarah and Noel. You just hold X and hope for the best. Stage 1 complete. Yes, there are tears to these. And there's soon going to be tears from me. Because I, I really don't like puzzles. Okay, that's just... Eh. Uh... Whoa. Okay, didn't even see that one. Connect you two, connect that. It's like I'm playing connect four. Oh, right, you connect here. You connect... No, you connect there. Okay, game. Connect them. 
connect them. Yeah, you can't just do it in just one order. It has to be in the order it wants you to do it in. Which is just like, screw you, remove the time limit. And yeah, that one only has two stages. I think the next one has three stages, but we'll probably be getting onto that one in the next episode if the fights decide to be kind. Um, I'm probably going to be... Actually, you know, I'm going to forget, so I'm not even going to bother saying that. But once again, we have more of Erba discovered. Time... Sh time's shell. And the annoying thing is, this bit just loops up back there. What? Splendorific... I can't remember which way. Run away. No, nope, they're chasing me. God damn it. Can I just run? Yeah, I can. If you just run long enough, they will go away, hopefully. It's kind of a bit of RNG if they're actually... Of course, it's not open. I'm not allowed to explore. But I can't remember fully which way we go. I think we go up this way. And I do love how, like, the tempo of the music picks up when enemies are near. Like, that's just one little thing that I've always liked, and I think... Nope, we've got to get that bit uh, when we actually have to get that bit. And by some meaning of dumb luck... I think I may have gone the right... Yes, I went the right way from sheer dumb luck. I know what I'm calling this episode, by the way. I've actually come up, come up with it before editing, which... That's a first. Actually, no, not a first, because I do tend to come up with my name while I'm recording. And Noel's hair went white for a second there. But here we have the more annoying puzzles. Like, it's the same puzzle, we haven't got to the clock ones yet. I would much rather kill myself than do those. They are that bad. And the pulse worker. Right, just... Uh... Damn it! Ha! Game. Screw off. You're doing it on purpose now. Connect. Connect the dots. Connect everything. Everything is connected in a roundabout way. <laughs> yeah. When they change like that, it is a bit dickish. And stage one complete. Yeah, I think there are only three stages, because I think there's going to be a part where there's a whole... Oh, this one's simple. Do that. Do that. Do that. Hmm. Do that. And that. A little bit of that. Wow, that one was so difficult. It was almost a circle. A very straight circle with edges and corners, but I... Oh, here's the annoying one. Yeah. We can't just beeline straight for one, so let's get the tail done. Uh, damn it. Oh, blue to blue. Purple to purple. White to white. This weird color to this color. Red to red. Ha ha, get. I swear this game does it on purpose. And there we go. That actually wasn't as annoying, but the whole changing as soon as I get it. Ugh, that annoys me. 
It really does. And wow, that's surprisingly up my throat. <clears throat> Yay, we got more loading screen. Well, at least the loading screens aren't too bad. I say that, and then my game crashes. No, it doesn't. But knowing my luck, it would have. Ooh, I think the mic picked that up. Sorry if you heard like a little cracking sound. I was just cracking my knuckles. And times coral. Hmm. We need to go over there. But I'm not going to throw Mog over because I know my luck. The moment I throw it and step, I'm getting into combat. Oh, yeah. Zoic Scandroids are a normal enemy here. So yeah, I was saying a bit that they gave you the Merle in three Seath tears. I wasn't su I wasn't aware that Seath could cry. Well, seeing as they running away, running away, running away, running away, running away. Game, be kind. Thank you. I have a Ravager who is very weak to fire. Is there an item up here? Oh yes, there is! Mog, search for stuff. Do your job. Small, annoying, throwable thing. A Hypno Crown. What the bloody hell does that do? Quip. Uh, Hypno Crown. Feral Speed. Increases the Feral Link Grudge... Right. Eh? Nah, I, I prefer my Magician's Mark, because I like Sarah being more magic folk. Ooh! New enemy! Yay! Oh, and we're going over a bit. But these are the pretty badass named Frag Leeches. Yeah, I really wouldn't want a, le a leech to end up s getting onto me, drinking my butt blood, and then blowing the hell up. And we actually managed to recruit one. They're, they're kind of an average commando. Like, the commandos, they don't really stand out that much. And I think they are mechanical-based enemies. Let us get this item. You better not be the map. Okay, good, a Libra scope. No, wait up, I want to talk to you. Never mind. Anyway, as we gaze out onto this. Damn it! I want to end the episode. Enemies, go away. Thank you. As we look out. Onto this weird, murky water stuff. As always, I am Frozen Neptunia. And I will see all of you lovable people in the next episode. Bye for now.